Hello, my sacred woman. Thank you for purchasing this program. I really hope that you are enjoying all the meditation rituals, the sacred knowledge and wisdom that we're learning on how to become sacred again. Because this is the moment to cleanse and purify our soul, our hearts, and our auras so that we can welcome in sacred love and sacred union. So thank you and keep doing your homework and make sure that you also repeat the program once you complete it because this is a sacred lifestyle. This is not meant to be something just for the meantime. It's something to be done on a daily basis. So I hope that you are able to integrate all of this new wisdom into your life and as part of the new you because that's what it's about. This soul journey is about true, true, deep transformation and revolutionary change in your life. So thank you all and namaste. Hello my soul family. So welcome to my meditation space. So I just finished a healing circle with my sacred woman in the program. And I really recommend that you become a part of this program like I've been telling you. And I want to give you all today for the entire world a healing session just for free, just as a way to give light and really help to heal the collective because I really feel that, you know, right now, today the gateway that we actually studied and did the gathering was for sacred relationships. So, and this is not only romantic relationships, but also the people around us in our life. It could be family, it could be friends, it could just be people in the streets, our community. All relationships affect us because the gateway of sacred relationships, the element that rules it is actually air because the relationship energies are felt in the air. So in order to be a sacred woman or a sacred man, if you want to maintain in your sacredness and a pure aura, you need to make sure that the relationships and the people around you are also in that love and light because those energies are affecting, affecting right? They're transmuted and it can be felt. And if you don't take proper measures to create healthy boundaries and speak from a place of assertiveness, then it can lower your vibration, right? And that's what as a sacred woman and man, we are to work hard, not let happen, right? We are always to remain in the light, especially if we're light workers on our mission and we are that way showers we are the examples, we always need to make sure that within ourselves, we can heal ourselves first, right? And this is what speaks volumes on self-love and self-worth. And it all begins with self. By us healing ourselves during these times and putting the focus on us rather than the drama of the world, of the people around who choose to be in fear, you are able to be that light. Because your aura as a light worker, as an angelic being, is very powerful. But you need to do your homework and you need to keep sacredly aligned in your own peace, serenity, harmony, and love. So as a special little reward, I'm just going to do a little bit of my sambo healing here that I usually do in my spirituality retreat bonfire ceremony. but. I got so excited with all the channel's messages and the astrology talk that I completely forgot to do a healing session with the Sambo. So I owe it to you guys. So I'll give you a few minutes here as I just finished doing one for the Sacred Woman and I felt the healing power. So I'm like, you know what? I need to share this with the world. So the way that it goes, let us just take a few deep inhales and exhales very slowly, four counts and just empty your mind to allow the genius of the divine. There's nothing to think about. There's nowhere to be, but right now, right here.
I keep seeing the vision of us just being like children in a large green meadow of grass. And life is blissful. Life is a paradise. And there's nothing to do but just skip around. Look up at the sky, at the beautiful clouds, playing with the butterflies, jumping up and down, enjoying. And we see our beloved there as a child as well. And we are as innocent as we could ever be. Released from the past, released from the wounds, from the past traumas, past relationships, past memories, past heartbreak. And as we have let all of that go, we are as light as a feather. And we find ourselves in our partner because we are a reflection of each other, the mirror. And as we see one another with the eyes of unconditional love, this also means that we see ourselves through the eyes of unconditional love. So the more that we forgive ourselves and have compassion, the more we can do the same for others. And that's what the world is calling us to do right now. That's what Mother Gaia is asking of us today to let go of all those emotions that are keeping you away from your sacredness. Choose to just let it go and move forward so that you can be that healing stone and rock for those in your life. And through your own vibration, you can help to heal the world, the collective. And let us just breathe in this knowing that we are one with the divine. We are protected and we are in sacred union with source, bringing us to sacred union with our higher self as we choose to always act through love, through our divinity and our Holy Spirit within us so that we can attract our sacred union with our beloved life partner. And as I feel the collective, this week has been a very, very energetically heavy week. I've been feeling it. I've been feeling the low energy. I've been feeling extra fatigue. And this is why I'm being called to send you all my love and light and let it be a cycle of love and light, giving and receiving all around the world, because that's the equal exchange of love and of light. So let us do a few Sambo healing breaths because sound frequency is very healing and potent in helping us to reach this ultimate enlightenment. Envision each breath that you take opening up a petal of this lotus flower. And with each breath that you inhale and you exhale, you're slowly getting to the heart of this lotus flower, illuminating your consciousness and illuminating the truth so that you can only see through love and peace. Hold it. 
this heaven on earth is our mission as a collective. So do your part today, heal yourself, and take action with love. I'm wishing you all an amazing and beautiful, magical, powerfully healing day. And please join me for the next spirituality retreat bonfire ceremony for the solar eclipse coming up soon on Saturday night of June 20th from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. as it will be followed by a sacred prayer circle as well for Twin Flames. Have an amazing and beautiful day. Namaste.